a fourth movement, a pivotal moment in China's modern history, was sparked on the other side of the world in Paris. In 1919, the victorious powers in the First World War gathered to negotiate the peace in the French capital. China, which had sided with the British, French and the United States, expected something in return, providing hundreds of thousands of laborers at the Western Front. China wanted an end to foreign privileges extracted from the country. It asked the Allies to reject Japan's so-called 21 demands that sought control over Chinese territory. And China also wanted the return of Shandong, a German-occupied enclave which included the key port city of Qingdao. Japan had seized control of the city during the war. Despite an eloquent, detailed and comprehensive case delivered by Chinese diplomat Wellington Ku, the then great powers rejected Chinese claims and granted control of Shandong to Japan. China became the only major allied power that declined to sign the Versailles Peace Treaty of 1919. And the May 4th movement sprung from the Chinese anger over that peace conference and treaty. Student strikes spread. A huge boycott of Japanese products followed. There was a rejection of Western liberal thinking and anger at U.S. hypocrisy. U.S. President Woodrow Wilson had promised an end to great power politics and promised self-determination for nations across the world. And Marxism became a popular alternative for Chinese intellectuals. And in 1921, some of the leaders of the May 4th movement became founding members of the Chinese Communist Party. Nathan King, CGTN.